power, mice, black mold, all issues that leaders in Atlantic City say are plaguing residents at one federal housing complex. And as our Marcus Espinosa reports, they're demanding things be fixed now. City officials in Atlantic City calling these federal housing apartments I'm standing in front of right now some of the worst federal housing they've ever seen in their lives. Conditions ranging from limited to no power to some living in mold. Light don't work in here at all. It's not working for almost a year now. So what do you do? How do you see? Yeah, what how do you manage to get around? Like what like light with bulb. that? Yes, with my light bulb. With my kitchen. This is how I do it. And you know, it's easy for me. The Stanley Homes Village Apartments in Atlantic City, a U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development owned and operated property, is in shambles and is anything but easy to live in. Residents like Tanya Bradford say they have been living with black mold for years now. I've went around there to their office so many times and they tell me that they was going to have somebody come and nobody showed up. Ain't nobody show up yet. And I'm, and I'm steady breathing this in. You see out there? Last month, residents of this complex made their dire situation known to city council. And today, the city laid out their findings after conducting an audit of the building's living conditions last week. Here's just some of what the city discovered after inspecting about 77% of the units. 220 have extreme infestation problems of mice, bed bugs, and roaches. 106 units have mold intrusion, and many have non-working toilets and or ovens. Today, we're going to be issuing violation notices, as we would with any other apartment complex, to address all those matters. It's only when you get inside a resident's home do you truly realize just how bad this is. This is nasty. You don't want to live here, but you don't have a choice, right? Like, is this is this your only option? Yes. In this apartment, you got two temperatures, extremely hot or extremely cold. So you're either wearing clothes or you're not wearing clothes. City officials making it clear no one should be living in these apartments right now. It can be said that if we did an occupancy inspection to authorize rental units, not one would pass. City officials encouraging anyone living in this federal housing experiencing similar issues to reach out to them to try to get help. In Atlantic City, Marcus Espinosa, Fox 29 News. And Atlantic City officials are also working on getting vouchers for residents to help them pay for moving costs if they want to relocate while these issues are addressed.